clean water rack. Fifty years, fifty facts. So check back, and we'll have more for you to learn. Fact number forty-four. Every two years, states are required to assess the conditions of their waters and submit a report to the EPA, including a list of impaired waters. Are you ready to play the 305B assessment? Oh, come on. It's a fun game and easy to learn. Well, maybe not that easy. We'll start by drawing a water body card from the database and check its designated uses. In addition to recreation and aquatic life, this lake is designated for drinking water supply and fish consumption. Is the water quality good enough to protect those uses? We'll roll for water quality monitoring and compare the numbers to the appropriate criteria. Nice! This lake has high enough dissolved oxygen for fish, low enough nitrate for drinking water, and low enough trophic state index for good swimming. Waters can end up on the impaired list if they fail water quality standards or if there was a fish kill caused by human actions. Not to worry, we can roll again the next assessment cycle and see if the fishery is fully recovered or water quality is improved. To improve our chances, we can write a TMDL and install best practices in the watershed. The goal is to assess as many waters as we can and move them to fully supported. Make sense? Next week, we'll play for real.